Hey everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in and thank you for tuning in for my last video. Special fan shout out here, Beagle Zero. Thank you for bringing up a topic that I was actually going to start discussing today. It is the aquatic ape theory. I believe, honestly, it might change your mind about mermaids. So this is a, basically a theory that started in the 1920s and 30s. It was published in the New Scientist Journal in 1960 and in 2009 was a TED Talk. So during our evolution as humans, our ancestors went from the trees to the coast. And because of that, they had to adapt to the water environment. So the aquatic ape theory says that we can still see some of these adaptations today. We're mostly hairless. We have the ability to walk on two legs, which is important for wading through deep water and swimming. And we have the ability to hold our breath. And we are actually the only land mammals that can hold our breath. Hello, diving for food? We share that capacity with seals, whales, and other aquatic mammals. Speaking of which, did you know that the early ancestors of seals and whales started off on land? In 2009, scientists found what they think is the missing link between a creature that was living on land and evolving into modern sea lions, seals, and walruses. Okay, so follow me here. There are a bunch of human ancestors chilling by the sea, adapting to life in water. Some of them go back to the forests and eventually become us. But what if some of them don't? What if a branch of them stays in the water and decides to trade their feet in for flippers? No, we call that creature today? Mermaids. Booyah!